Welcome back to PSC's Tech Byte and Happy New Year. After the Christmas break, uh, I'm back uh, with some new content. And today I want to talk with you about how to leverage uh, the open authorization implicit flow to get access to resources like the Microsoft Graph. In fact, uh, there is a special flow that you can use uh, to retrieve uh, an access token whenever you want to consume a resource uh, protected uh, by open authorization and for example by Azure Active Directory. And in that scenario, you can get an access token without a refresh token, and you can use a simple flow, which is based on a single request rather than on the whole flow, uh, the authorization flow that you usually use uh, whenever you want to authenticate in a web application uh, uh, against Azure Active Directory, getting back an authorization code, and then using that authorization code to get back an access token and a refresh token to consume your resources. This is a simplified scenario that you can use, for example, in client-side solutions like TypeScript, JavaScript, uh, SharePoint Framework solutions, uh, or more in general, uh, uh, client-side solution like, for example, an Electron.js uh, app uh, or whatever else uh, will simply need to get an access token to access a resource. Uh, be careful that it is, it is not always a recommended approach, uh, so you can read for further details the link that you see below in this uh, slide. Uh, but generally speaking, if you simply need to have an access token and you don't want to uh, implement the whole flow, it's quite useful. Let me explain you how the flow uh, goes uh, when you use the implicit uh, grant flow in open authorization. First of all, you have a web browser, you have an authorization endpoint, uh, for example, provided by Azure Active Directory, and you have a target resource, which can be, for example, the Microsoft Graph. Well, within the client side code, you will make a request for a token in order to consume a specific resource. Your end user browser or the web request running client side in your web browser will be redirected uh, to a sign-in request. Uh, and if a user is already signed in, you will simply uh, sign in and get back uh, a token from uh, Azure Active Directory, or you will have to explicitly sign in uh, if you are still not uh, yet uh, signed in uh, in Azure AD. Once you have done that, uh, you will get back uh, in the client-side code directly a response, including an access token or an ID token or both of them, uh, in the redirect URI that you will get back. And by intercepting that redirect URI, you will be able to parse it uh, and to get the access token or the token that you need. With the access token, for example, you can make a request uh, to uh, the target API, like the Microsoft Graph, for example, providing uh, the access token as the bearer authorization header in the request, and then you will be able to get back uh, the resource you requested, as long as you have proper permissions uh, to consume that resource. In order to do that in practice, you will need, first of all, to configure an Azure AD application and you will have to configure that application to set the implicit flow support for that application in the manifest, to configure the permissions to consume the API you want to use, and then you will have to copy the client ID or the application ID of that application. Once you've done that, on the client side, you can use the implicit flow. You will have to make a request to the authorized endpoint of Azure Active Directory if Azure AD is your target identity provider, and you will have to provide a bunch of information in the request for the authorization endpoint, and you will get back the access token in the uh, redirect URL, and by parsing that URL, you will be able to have the access token and use it to make your API request. So let me move to the demo environment as usual and let me show you in practice how to do that. So here we are in Azure Active Directory under uh, the Azure Management Portal and I'm in the app registration sections. First of all, I have to register a new Azure AD application. So I will click on new application registration. I will provide a name for my application. It can be a web app or a web API. I have to provide the uh, URL, the sign-on URL for my application, which can be this one and then I can create my application. Once I've done that, uh, I have to edit the manifest of the application to enable the support for the implicit flow. Here we have the OO to allow implicit flow flag, uh, and I have to put it to true. And I can save the manifest uh, of my uh, Azure AD app. Once I've done that, I can go to the settings, to the required permissions, and I can configure any custom permissions that I wanna have. For example, I want to have access to the Microsoft Graph, so I will select that one. And I want to have uh, a permission under the uh, group of uh, delegated permissions uh, to sign in and uh, read uh, the user profile. 
which should be somewhere here. And here it is, sign in and read user profile, which is a permission which does not require an admin consent. I can select the permission and I'm done. And eventually, if needed, I can even grant permissions. It really depends on the permissions uh, that I selected for my application. Once I've done that, I can open a browser session in incognito just to have a clean uh, setup and I can uh, go to the Azure AD URL uh, to request uh, an access token. So uh, with the implicit flow, I mean. So login microsoftonline.com under HTTPS slash common or the uh, global unique identifier of your target tenant uh, of two and authorize, which is the authorization endpoint uh, for Azure AD. Then I will have to provide the client uh, ID of the application that I want to use uh, uh, for the implicit flow. And this will be the application ID that we have here in Azure Active Directory. Moreover, I need to specify what kind of tokens I want to get back. It will be a request for an ID token and for an access token. I have to specify what is the resource uh, for which I want to have a token. And the resource of my sample will be the Microsoft Graph. So it is HTTPS graph.microsoft.com URL encoded. I will have to provide a nonce value, so a unique value for my request. This one is a fake one, but you should use a really unique value for every single request you will make. And then I can optionally specify a response mode and the fragment option will declare that I want to have uh, the tokens uh, in the fragments of the response uh, URL. In fact, my browser at the end of the request will be redirected to a specific URL, which will be the redirect URL that I have to specify as the last uh, argument for my request. And this redirect URI is the one that I declared uh, as the logon URL while registering, while creating my application. If I press enter and I browse to this uh, URL, I will be prompt with the login interface of Azure Active Directory. Of course, we can do that uh, in a client side uh, application, so JavaScript, TypeScript, uh, Electron, JS, or whatever else. You will provide the credentials. So for example, uh, those in the tenant I'm using right now, I will provide my password. And once I've done that, I can select to stay signed in or not. I really don't care because it's an incognito session. And uh, I will be redirected to the URL that I declared as the URL for my application. However, as you can see here in the uh, location of my browser, I have the redirection URL followed by dash and a bunch of arguments, which are the fragments in the URL. If I get this URL and if I copy it in Notepad just to show you what's inside the response, I can uh, use the word wrap functionality. Here you can see I have the access token and I have the whole value of the access token that I got back from Azure Active Directory. This access token, which I can copy in my clipboard, can be used as a bearer token. It will expire in this uh, date and time. And I also have an ID token for the same request. We can, first of all, play with jot.io, sorry, jot.io, and we can see that the access token that we got back from Azure AD, if I copy and paste it here, is an access token to access the Microsoft Graph as we requested. And it is for my currently connected user, as you can see, uh, with my user principal name. And as we can see, I have the user.read permission, which is the one we declared uh, previously. Moreover, if I open a tool like, for example, uh, Fiddler, we can use it to make a request to the Microsoft Graph using that access token. So first of all, let me clean up the uh, session. I can provide an authorization header of type bearer, providing the content of the access token that I got from Azure Active Directory. And I can say that I want to get HTTPS graph.microsoft.com version 1.0 and for example, I want to get access to my uh, currently connected user profile. If I make such a request providing the access token as the barrier authorization header, I will get back a JSON response uh, 
with all the basic information about my currently connected user. So as you can see, using the implicit flow, I was able to get back an access token and to use that access token to consume uh, the Microsoft Graph accordingly to the permissions configured for my application. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.